Now, I've been extensively reviewing not only the iPhone 12 Pro, but also the iPhone 12 Pro Max for a couple of days now. As someone who's been creating content for over four years now and has made over 200 vlogs, here's why I think that the new iPhones may replace my vlog camera. Now, this right here is my Sony RX100 Mark IV, and this has always been my go-to vlogging camera anytime I didn't want to bring a huge setup. However, as I was vlogging yesterday entirely on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I genuinely realized that this could very much take over my needs to bring around a camera like this. First off, let's talk about the size. Obviously, if we take a look at the 12 Pro Max versus my vlogging camera, size wise this is definitely going to be bigger however if we take a look at the iphone 12 pro i would say they're relatively the same size given that this is much more slimmer and can slide in my pocket however that's not the only reason as i was vlogging like this yesterday holding my phone horizontally i realized it's much less intrusive than walking around with the vlog camera like this People worry less if they see someone holding a phone like this rather than seeing someone film like this or with a bigger rig like my Sony a7 III. This not only allows you to bring a great camera into smaller functions, whether it's at sporting events, concerts, things like that, but it also allows you to be much more discreet while you're shooting content that won't intimidate people while you're walking around. It's obviously going to be much easier to vlog because all you need is your phone. You don't need an external microphone or a tripod or anything like that. My second reason is all about the lens system. Anytime I vlog on my Sony a7 III, I'm not only going to have to carry around a wide angle lens, but also a tighter zoom lens if I want to change my focal length. The process of having to change my lenses can be very cumbersome, but now that I have this triple lens system essentially means that I no longer have to carry around three different lenses to get the shot I want. I have an ultra wide, a wide, and a zoom lens all in a single camera, which not only makes it very versatile, but allows you to change the composition of your shots so that you're able to get more cinematic footage all within the compact size of a phone. Now you will see a little bit more detailed review in the iPhone camera test, however I will say I am very impressed with the camera quality that came on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This photo I shot of Becca at night in portrait mode honestly blew me away because it literally looked like I took it on a $5,000 camera. The larger sensor on the 12 Pro Max gives you much more dynamic range and higher resolution that I previously was never able to get. Being able to shoot portraits like that on a phone genuinely made me realize that I may no longer need to bring around a big vlogging camera like this anymore. Now let's talk about the third reason. Since all your videos are going to be shot natively on the camera roll, all you have to do is airdrop your files to your laptop and you no longer need an SD card or an SD card reader. That massively reduces the amount of gear you need to create your content as you have all that built directly into your camera. Rather than having to take out my SD card, pull out my dongle, plug it into my laptop, drag and drop the files, and then import that directly into my editing software, now I'm literally able to just select all the videos I want, airdrop it to my laptop, and I'm able to edit it right away. In addition to that, because you are filming on a phone, you're gonna get much smaller file sizes that's going to take up less storage space so that you don't have to bring a hard drive anymore, and you can literally edit all your footage straight off your laptop. Now, my fourth reason is that the iPhones actually have better specs than a lot of cameras out there right now. Not only can it shoot in 1080p in slow motion, but it also does 4K 24 frames per second and 4K 60 frames per second, which my camera that I'm currently filming on does not do. Given the price and the size of an iPhone 12 Pro, you're genuinely not going to be able to find a comparable camera like that on the market as of right now. While my Sony camera does shoot in 4K, having the convenience of pulling out your phone and being able to shoot high quality content genuinely makes this camera basically obsolete. And my final reason why I think the 12 Pro is going to be better than vlog camera are the upcoming software updates with Dolby HDR Vision. In the coming months, Apple is going to announce new software that will allow you to film in Dolby HDR Vision. Now, I don't know too much about it because I haven't had a hands-on test of it yet, but essentially you're going to get crisper colors, better audio, and overall your entire video quality is going to be much more improved. The future of smartphone filmmaking is here ladies and gentlemen with the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. If you enjoyed this video guys, please make sure to drop a like down below. Comment if you guys think I should entirely switch over to vlogging on my iPhone. And as always guys, stay gold. Peace.